morning, Gilchrist Grizzlies, and welcome to Grizzly AM, your morning news show. I am Acadia. And I am Colton. Today is Tuesday, February 11, 2020, at Special Area Day 4. Please stand for the morning pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the news. Today's Black History Spotlight is on inventor George Washington Carver. He was an agricultural scientist and is best known for inventions using peanuts and sweet potatoes. He was born into slavery. He eventually went to college and earned a graduate degree in botany. He became famous for his inventions and his in advice was sought by farmers across the country. What a great turnout we had for Muffins with Moms this morning. Remember, if your last name starts with the letters between N and Z, tomorrow is your day to have Muffins with Mom. Me food and Hall Bar School. See you there. We have two more great readers who have read 15 nonfiction books. Congratulations to Reagan and Alyssa. Here are the stuff. Here are the star students from January for pre-K and kindergarten. Bradshaw with our PBIS winners. Well, good morning, Grizzlies. Today we will celebrate our first and second grade winners who were caught being respectful, responsible, safe, and a team player. So without further ado, let's congratulate our winners. In first grade, we have Eli in a Curcio's class, Rylan from Miss Dunn's class, Gavin from Miss Hall, Andreas from Miss Kerr, Cole from Miss Miller, Mellis from Miss O'Brien, Andre from Miss Self, Theronica from Miss Taylor, and now second grade, we have Riker from Ms. Anderson, Nathaniel from Ms. Barano, Maya from Ms. Bauer, Kinsley from Ms. Hunkyar, Owen from Ms. Ayotte Stewart's class, Miriam from Ms. Montford, and Dashiell from Ms. Newland. Thank you, Ms. Bradshaw. Here's Jet with the Gilchrist weather report. Checking our Grizzly weather station, we have a current temperature of 62 degrees, in a projected high of 77 degrees. There is a 20% chance of rain. Now it's time for the principal's corner with Miss Austin. Good morning, Grizzlies. Superstars in the studio with me this morning. Um, before I introduce them, I wanted to say a few things. Um, thank you for all the moms that came out this morning. So boys and girls, thank you for letting your moms know. And tomorrow we will have muffins for moms again. So um, please ask dads if they would like to help out to be here a little bit early so they could help us out on the playground. Um, so, and boys and girls, if your mom came out today, make sure you give them a big hug when you get home today. Um, I want to remind all of our boys and girls to make sure that they are here every day and make sure that they are on time by 8.30. We need you in your classrooms by 8.30. As we are painting our school, um, I want to remind all of our boys and girls not to touch our precious walls. They will not paint us again for about five years. So this has to last us. So teachers, please help us 
get the word out to your boys and girls to please not touch the walls. Right now they're being primed, but they will be painted. So please keep hands and body parts off the walls. Um, so now to our superstars in the studio. I'm so excited to hear about students that are reading. I have this superstar sitting next to me. Her name is Miss Meg. I am so happy and proud of her. She has two um, Sunshine State Awards. She has the 10 and the 13. Congratulations. I am going to crown her with, you are now bequeathed the crown for Club 13. So, and she has this, gold is my favorite shirt. I might steal it. This is Meg's shirt. So congratulations. She got the 10, but then she also got the 13. Meg, what was your favorite book? Um, I don't really have a favorite. They were all really good. Okay. Is there anyone in particular that you would tell boys and girls that they should read? Um, Tumble and Blue, probably. Tumble and Blue. Did y'all hear that? You need to pick it up, check it out, and read it. Thank you, Miss Meg. I also have another superstar in the studio. Thank you. Wear that crown well today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, and I also have Miss Haley. Haley, Haley has also been crowned the 13th Superstar Award. Okay, that is for you, I'm sorry, I'm holding your mic. So Haley, tell us, what, what was your favorite book and tell me why? All of them. All of them? Okay, so give me your favorite part of the last one that you read. Um, Bob, it was pretty good. Bob, okay, that was your favorite? So tell the boys and girls why you love that book. Um, because it's like it's fiction and um, so they travel a lot um, around to find uh, a little creature's home. That is awesome. Uh, boys and girls, you need to check that book out and if you have any questions, you can ask Miss Haley. High five, Superstar Club, Club 13. And now back to our news team to close. Th thank you, Miss Austin. Our thought for today is from George Washington Carver. 99% of the failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses. Please join us again tomorrow for another edition of Grizzly AM. Have a great day. Bye.